you know, with coming to you warfare. live from the PLA Situation Room in beautiful Roy, New Mexico. You're listening to the Phone Losers of America show. There's a YouTube channel that I watch religiously. Phone Losers of America, they post prodigiously. No kidding, hacking, hidden cameras, making hella calls. Social engineering, Brad is catching pokeballs in the backseat of your car. And he's so very sorry. He was searching for the Snorlax, so we scratched up your Ferrari. Left a number on the dash, so you called him up so fast. Just to have a little chat, but he's sorry, don't get mad. Cactus, cactus, the house is not a pool. And if you buy an iPad on the street, that's not too cool. And if you work at Pizza Hut, he's got you on the camera. Tell them you're from corporate and you're in there just like Santa. A shopping spree. People, People get deceived, dude. Switching off the power. People, People will believe you. A blockbuster red box. We just put it in. Our BCP for the win once again. Hey. PLA. PLA all day. Phone PLA. PLA all day. Phone PLA. PLA all day. Hey, everyone. This is our BCP. You're listening to the PLA all day show. Phone losers, not the phone show show thing. Hi, Carlito. Hi. With Brad. me, as always, is Carlito. Hey, Brad. Woohoo! Yay! Thanks for having me. Yeah. I'm so excited. We were having problems with the video. We just reset everything. Now everything's working perfectly. Tonight yeah. on the show is Carlito from Madhouse yeah. Radio. Yeah. The Madhouse Live Machine. Yeah, all that. MadhouseLive.com. YouTube.com slash Madhouse Radio. You're like Stacy with all the different variations of random things. Mm-hmm. 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 I try. God damn I try it. to keep it confusing. Yep. You sure do. Yeah. So, hey, Carlito, what you doing? Oh, I'm just here taking your questions, I guess. Just enjoying the tunes, you know? Open the chat scrolls for you. Yeah, it's working, I think, so far. Like, um, last week, the chat wasn't scrolling. This week, the chat is scrolling, but then it just completely went away. It may go away again mid-show and if it does then whatever i guess right. fuck it right, right. you know fuck it just fuck it fuck it it's the best you can do yup yeah anyway tonight so we're gonna take calls yeah yeah so that's a, usually do you take them calls right yep nice it's... i'll be as uh, open as i can i look forward to taking everyone's questions or comments concerns yep. complaints uh, unlike stacy please don't be mean to carlito because he is very sensitive oh i um, take that shit seriously yeah he, he will uh he will just like storm off in a huff <laughs> hey jag i'm not what saying jag to about? you carlito sorry oh hey jag yeah, I think you got the wrong person. I'm oh, I'm sorry. Hey, hey, oh. old random man from somewhere. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm a big fucking fan of the Madhouse. There's only one problem. I just, I don't understand the horses. I don't get it. My daughter rides a horse and she fell off and clapped the ass and fucking got ran over. So I don't appreciate all the horses. Mm. All girls that ride horses have orgasms from it at some point. No, I've got an old man erection. Yeah, I hate when that happens. Yeah, oh, is well, that your question, not Jack? What, what, where did a horse come from? That's a great yeah, first question for Carlito. Uh, uh, that actually honest, that yeah. that comes from Jim Stewart, and he used to do some pranks, and he was insulted by Indians in the UK, and they called him a horse and a chair. And a donkey and a bunch of stuff, but a horse stuck. And then he had a series of calls after that where he did horse this, horse that. And then I just started, co I copied that. That was a copy from uh, Jen Stewart. Such a copier. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we took it to a different level because it also got confused because then we had that Turkish guy that said he was a Turkish horse. And then I brought it up with the whole horse, the, the, the guy in Guam. I said that there were horses that were being masturbated. Um, in the restaurant, that yeah, that became a whole thing. So it kind of, yeah. I mean, that's the beginning. It was just me continuing a little inside joke of Jim Stewart's, but it grew way bigger under the madhouse. I think. Did that kill your old man boner? Random old man calling in. I think I just had a heart attack, motherfucker. <clears throat> oh shit! But yeah, he gets us oh, all the time. Shit. So. Uh, nope. oh, right, you... yo, God bless. I'm gonna whoop whoop ye, ye, quirp, hey, quirp, walk out the horse. Chew an aspirin, put it under your tongue. Oh 
Oh, yeah. I, right. I liked it the way we could barely hear what he was saying. He was really quiet. Yeah. It's good to hear from not Jack. Hey, yeah. Can we do a rule where only one call per person? To that That's how we always do it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. I've, I've taken two calls at once before. It's gotten pretty crazy. No, no. I mean, like, you know, if this guy calls in once and then oh, he hangs up. Oh, yeah. Well, then he you calls know, back again. Yeah. They're so. going to spoof their caller IDs and, and play porn yeah. at me. Because I've been really excited about answering questions and stuff. I don't even know if anyone will call in. At least Jack called in. Not Jack, I mean. <laughs> some That was just some old guy. Like, hmm. uh, you know. I had a lot of good feedback. People excited to listen to me. I thought horse had something to do with, like, didn't you used to prank some sort of a horse farm, horse ranch? Thing? Uh, you, you call them every Thanksgiving? Or well, that's... Th that's the guy in Guam. That was the. It was actually a bull, and what the the restaurant was called the Bull and something. But there was a kid that worked there. That uh, yeah, I, that's the whole thing. I told him a horse was being masturbated, and it became a big long call. And then I called the week after that, and they remembered. And, and then I, yeah, I called him like for two Thanksgivings after that. Every day on Thanksgiving, every every year on Thanksgiving. Until he disappeared, he moved back to the states. Like we could find, we knew he moved back to the states. They told us, like, yeah, he moved back to the states. We don't have his number. Where was he? So, he was in Guam. Uh, he was in Guam and he moved to California. I thought you figured out his new number. Like they changed it once and then you figured it out and then yeah, then and he then changed. he moved and he moved and we figured out a number for him, but he wouldn't pick it up on Thanksgiving. And I think he figured out. <laughs> it's like yeah, yearly, never, yearly tradition. Yeah. Don't pick up the phone on Thanksgiving. Yeah. Because the last time I literally told him, yeah, it's, he's like, I literally got a call like a year ago, but you know, like, yeah, like every year on the same day, like Thanksgiving. <laughs> he's probably forgotten by now. We should figure it out again. Yeah. That needs to be, you should have me help you figure that out. I have I, his name somewhere. I know I, I offered a, that once and I can't remember if I ever tried or not. Uh, to what? Yeah. To find him or someone else? Who? Yeah. I said I was going to help you find that guy. And um, I think I didn't that year. But mm, I don't know. I probably never did. Apparently, yeah, I I'd have did. to. Yeah, I know Dwight knows his name and all that, and uh, that might help out finding him. Yeah. 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 Any questions in the chat? Go. East of the Rockies. You're on the air. Oh, East of the... Hey, what the fuck's going on, guys? Hey. Hey. You're on the hey. air with Carlito and Brad. Hey. hey, guys. Fuck yeah. Hey, it's Jeff, aka Chicken Slant. And Carol. Oh, hey, Chicken Slaps. Hey, Chicken Slaps. Hey, hey. What are you guys doing tonight? You know. Uh oh You know. You're saving things. the world, drinking beers. Fuck yeah. You guys doing any pranks? Yeah, that's that's the show. We're going to be doing some pranks. Tons of yeah. pranks. Pranks are coming oh, up. Can I do a prank yeah. with you guys? I'll never forget <laughs> it. We're not really doing pranks, though. No. Ah, oh, that's, that's shit. That's tomorrow's show. This is boring talk Jeez. show. Hey, I, well, I wouldn't say it's boring because I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like your, I like your avatar, uh, the chicken with the hand out, like getting ready to hit someone. I like that. That's a good on mix LR. No, oh, fucking, you guys are awesome, man. You guys have been there for a lot of people to have fun and listen to this shit. A lot of people won't understand, you know, but most people what don't. What you guys do is. What you guys do is just phenomenal. And I know federal judges sure don't. Yeah. 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 That, they just don't that's get true, it. true, man. It's the weirdest thing. Yeah. They don't get the scene, Fuck. man. Yeah. Brad, do, you, do you really keep think doing that it until, just, Keep doing chicken, it until they lock you up for good, man. We, we uh, respect that. Chicken slap. And uh, if it comes down to it, we'll chicken get that wrecking slap. ball and uh, bust you out, buddy. Thanks. Oh, You're yeah, the best. Yeah. Thanks, that's, chicken slaps. <laughs> good to have that on the air where yeah. people can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> now they know. There's some guy named Chicken Slap. Yeah, now they know I'm not to Alaska, lock me up. By the way. What's that? No, I'm just kidding. I said I'm from Alaska, by the way. Holy shit. Oh, shit. Alaska. No, no. I, I, I'm not. I'm just trying to save my own ass. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I get it now. Well, you've incriminated oh, me enough, so. <laughs> Bye, Chicken Slap. Enough of that. Brad, my favorite call, my favorite show that I did with you, and I wasn't there for the whole show, but was the, it was the Radio Shack show. Yeah, that um, was amazing. That was the oh last really God. amazing thing we did together. We need to do more shows together. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Next we time, tried. Like, 
You tried so to call me. You tried to call me in the other day, and I couldn't. I was at the grocery store, but but I listened the entire time I was there. I listened to your I show just, this week. I, yeah, I just threw everyone in. Figured whoever who could could. It's all right. And, I and, know. And then the other time, I called into your show, and you and Matt were on. And as soon as I got in, you're like, oh, oh, it's the weirdest thing. The phones the don't work right. Work. I'm gonna just like bye, Brad, and whatever. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, well, that's when I went out for a steak. I mean, I had like a $30 steak that night. It was so fucking good. We'll make it happen eventually. Yeah, yeah food, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to click on things, and when I try to click on them, they don't. It just goes dead. Phones are broke. Hello, Phones caller. Yeah, hello. Hey, caller. You're on the air with Carol. Carol and Carly Day. Hey, Carol. Hey. Carol and Cross. Hey, guy. Hey. I did an entire Hi. show today of uh, Carol hosting the show, the Snowplow Show. Uh, it was fun. Man. It's probably going to be terrible when I release it, but I had fun uh, at least. Who's on there? Who's there? Who's here? Who's on the on the phone machine? Uh, this is Cliff. Hey, big Cliff. Hey, How Cliff. you doing? Yeah, I'm, uh, we'll I'm pretty good. Push you down a cliff. First time caller. Uh, call uh, listener for about a year. So. Of who? Carlito? Uh, both of you guys. Okay. Oh, thanks. That's nice. good. Yeah. That's open for yeah. just me, but okay. Well, I started listening yeah. to you first. That helps. Oh, okay, that's good. Oh, yeah. man. No, that means you sloppy stole him from me then, Carlito. So you're so sloppy it's... seconds, Cliff. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's your new oh. nickname. Sloppy seconds, yeah. Cliff? I'm going to save you in my address book right now, so when you call in next time, I can be like, Sloppy Seconds, you're on the air. <laughs> All right, sounds great. It's going to happen. All right. Yeah. All right, Cliff. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Good. You're for Cliff, everybody. Yeah. Man, I get, a, I get applause and everything. That's right. That's Fuck yeah, man. Bye, Cliff. Bye, Carol. <laughs> hey, he didn't. He said Carol. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Hello, you are on the air with Carlito and Brad. Carol had wow, to step. Hi. Carl. Ca Carol had to step hi. out. Hi. This is uh, Cartman. Cartman. Oh wow, Eric Cartman. I watch your show. Oh, it's Parkman. It's Parkman. This guy sends me numbers all. He's he's my been my good source of numbers for the last year or so. Oh wow. So thank thank you, Parkman. What's up, man? It's good no to finally problem. talk to you. That must be why he stopped sending me numbers. Yep. Yeah, yep, yeah. Uh, I kind of float between you all. I'm kind of a whore, I guess. So I don't know what you want to call it. I'm a prank call whore. I I get it. I see. Yeah. But, yeah, I have some uh, pictures for you all. Okay. okay. All right. You're cutting out a bit, so say them as loud as okay. possible. How about now? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Screw it. I just went outside. I if I can hear me. Uh, Go up in a tree. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, anyway, uh, you know, many <laughs> listeners for both of your shows have attempted to start their own prank call shows, and uh, some have been more successful than others. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering, you know, what would you recommend and not recommend for the new people coming? Don't do it. We don't need the competition. <laughs> yeah. Please. Okay. Please don't try. <laughs> please. Uh, yeah, I, I would just say, <laughs> um, number one, when you're doing calls and someone asks your name, don't go like, uh, <laughs> Bill, you know, it's just, just, you gotta have real, you gotta be real fast. Just say Bill. Don't be like, uh, Bill, because that gives it away right there. And you're going to get that question a lot. Um, yeah. <laughs> what? Who is this? Let's see. Uh, I forgot my name. <laughs> yeah, that right there. Um, the other thing is, come from the heart and stop biting us. Stop biting me. St you know, just stop copying so much of. Oh, I don't know oh. what I do, and Brad does, and Dwight McClanahan does. I just I see a lot of that sometimes. It's cool. It's cool. Like when you're, you know. I'm all for the copy. Yeah, I know, but when it's your I know if it's, shows, if it's that... like entire shows all the time, yeah. nonstop. <laughs> yeah. But overall, yeah. I kind of like the copying. Yeah. Like if it's something I think I'm doing too much, and then I'm listening to a random show because I do listen to random 
shows out there and I like some of them and some of them not so much, but I'm always polite and nice. Um, yeah, when I hear like, you know, an entire show of, you know, Bancho or stuff with heat, stuff like that. It's like, come on, man, like, put a little thought into it. Let's, if we're going to have a community, let's make it so everyone who's participating with shows is doing their, bringing their own thing to the table. Yeah, God damn but it. It's, yeah, but I mean, there's only, I don't know. Uh, it's 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 hard to it's a hard middle line right because i really i'm really flattered and i really like a lot of it too it's i mean if if i'm doing it means it's funny to me you know but i don't know oh well, we lost it's, it's, it, it's especially hard for people who say they hate my ass and then i hear them doing the same shit that i'm doing all the time but whatever it's yeah okay no, that's pretty cool that's some good advice and uh, also don't do it question if you don't mind no competition uh, no, yeah, don't stay I, out. I kind of, I kind of, you know, feel just do stuff, just do stuff for me and or Brad. Yourself. I'm sorry, we, you can, know? can you repeat that? We were talking over you. <laughs> I kind of feel sorry for you guys that you, you don't get to hear and look up to you guys and hear your, like, Carlito can't listen to Carlito like we can. Brad can't listen to Brad like we can. And that's true. I, I never thought my, of that. You know, it, 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 it's, it's, deep. it's, kind of unfortunate for you all but um, i'm kind of wondering Mind who you guys look up to you know who who do you guys admire who you know has influenced you guys in uh becoming as uh successful as you guys are uh, mm. uh, me first or <laughs> oh we just love uh, ourselves so much that I mean, yeah, we just dig ourselves so much, man. I mean, I listen to my shit 24-7. No, no. Uh, well, I think, first of all, I have such a large bank of shows. Like, I, I'm at the point now where mentally I can go back to, like, a random show from 2008. And I'm not going to remember most of what was on random show. So it's kind of like hearing it for the first time. Um, but I look up to Brad. Brad, I listen to your show Aww. all the time. It's fun. I'm gonna turn I up like my Dwight camera. Show I'm gonna blush. Lot. Yeah, I like Dwight. I'm real proud of Dwight because he, he came from just being a fan of me and you to like doing a show pretty regular and making a pretty good hustle out of it. So that's always fun. Um, I remember also I looked, my introduction yeah. to Dwight was him yelling at me because I wasn't you. <laughs> yeah. Because I was because pretending took, to be you. We did a fake hijack of the Madhouse show where you took over Madhouse Live. Yeah. <laughs> now I like Dwight. I listen to Dwight all the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, I used to look up to Howard Stern, but like not anymore. Like I was talking about this during my meetup that I had last weekend. It was kind of like I grew up listening to Stern. I idolized him. A lot of what I do is based off of my history listening to Stern and the other goofy talk radio shows that were on the station that played Howard Stern where, in, where I grew up in Central Florida and Orlando specifically. Um, Did you listen to MJ? MJ? <laughs> I don't know who's MJ. <laughs> no, never mind. Know. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, I don't know. But uh, the pro the problem with Stern now is like he's he's gotten like an anti podcasting rant. He's changed a lot. He's very watered down, and I don't even listen to him anymore. And that's something like two three years ago I couldn't fathom where I wouldn't listen to Howard every day. For a while I listened to him twenty four seven. My serious radio never left Howard one hundred. You know what I mean? And it's I haven't listened to Howard show. I've been and at there. least a year at this point. It's just watered down. Um, yeah, I look up to a lot of stand-up comedians that are out there doing their hustle. You know what I mean? Like, if I had to name, like, my favorite stand-up comedians, I think Louis Black is my favorite. Um, I really like Artie Lang a lot, speaking of the Stern Show. I know he's gone through a lot of shit, but I, I kind of dig that. Uh, I, I dig going through shit. Um, I don't know. What about you, Brad? What do you What do you look up to? What are your uh, comedic influences? Anything? I just listen to prank calls all the time. I listen to you and Dwight and X Y Z and who else does shows? Just everyone. X Y Z. Justin and Oh Heckler 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 yep. Heckler guy. Those two cats. Justin guy does say. pretty good. Justin's a good friend of the Madhouse. Um, Super Phone Brothers. Uh, oh yeah, how could I not say them? Yeah, just yeah, phone good phone phone prank shows in general. They're a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, you could tell, I mean, at least for me, I don't know about Brad, but you could tell the cats I like because I either talk about them or I have them on my show or at least, you know what I mean? Like, it's pretty easy to tell who I'm cool with out there in the community, I think. If, yeah, if you're wondering and you've never really, I've never really come out and talked to you and said something weird to you at two in the morning where it's just one word, 
you know, then you probably are. Yeah, I get that all the time from you. You say like one weird thing to me and then you don't talk to me for three days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought that was going to happen today. Yeah. Like the show's about to start and you're not answering. Yeah. Hello. hello. <laughs> I told you I'm scared. <laughs> That's all. And then I told you nothing for until like five minutes before the show started. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> so does that answer your fucking okay. question, Parkman? Motherfucker, you? It answers my questions very much. Thank you guys for doing what you do. Uh, Parkman, you thank the, you uh... for sending me numbers and helping me out. It's like you know that I pretty much only do shows on, on my uh, holidays off. So you're already like, it's Martin Luther King Day. It's a week before. It's, you know, it's a week out. Let me start confirming numbers. Where and were you today, me, though? Give me a heads up. It's a holiday uh, today. <laughs> well, because I was planning this, and I did a show early in the weekend. And know, it's already on the podcast. So okay, hello. fine. Jeez. Fine. Whatever, yeah. Parkman. Okay, Parkman. whatever, fine. <laughs> All right, have, a, I have can't, yourself a glass of scotch, Parkman. I can't let him have the last word. No. Although he kind of did. Yep, 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 yep. Central Florida, you're on the air. Yeah, I represent 407. Do you ever listen to MJ? Hey, you guys. How's it going? Hey, pretty good. We just outed your location. How are you? Oh, good. Pretty good. Yeah. Hopefully you don't so, mind. Yeah, listen to MJ and BJ in the morning once in a while. Holy shit. Yeah, See, he yeah. knows who they are, Carlito. How do you not know who MJ is? That's MJ? The, that, it's the DJ yeah, that I used yeah, to yeah. harass, like, oh, back in the early yeah. 2000s. Used, if it was in your book. Yeah, I know. And he was calling yeah, the, yeah, he was calling the FBI that, on me. You never, you never have that on your tours or anything, so I can't, I can't, I can never find it. So it's kind of disappointing, you know? What, what's not in my tours? Oh, the book? Yeah, no, no, the uh, the, the uh, prank calls you made, uh, MJ and BJ, the Milton Fletch cow thing, yeah? Oh, I th- yeah, maybe I took them out just because they weren't that interesting. Uh, I mean, they're in a they're in a PLA radio show, so... No, just cool. listen to the old PLA radio show. They're all there. Oh, man, that's cool. Anyways, I just had a quick question before I let you go. Uh, okay. If you guys had to, uh, you know, before, like, if you had to choose, like, one way to communicate or, you know, dial out, whether it be touch tone or rotary for the rest of your life, what would it be? Both you and Carly, to go. Touch tone. Touch tone, man. That rotary <laughs> dialing shit was a pain in the ass. <laughs> I remember and making prank calls. It wasn't that I was, it wasn't that I was brought up. I, I know I'm younger than Brad, and I wasn't brought up in the in the real rotary days. But my grandma had the fucking rotary phone because she was behind, at, like seriously, and that was a pain in the ass using that thing. Holy shit! Yeah, but there's something, there's something real legit about the you know the rotary that just feels good. But anyway, yeah. that's all I want to say. Thank you guys. Keep I've got one here in the room. I just you know why would I use it though? <laughs> I like to whistle. Yeah. Peace. Bye. Get out of here. Like joy bubbles your call. I actually did prank calls like in the 70s and 80s. And I yeah. remember like dialing numbers over and over and over and how much your fingers would hurt from dialing. How come you so, didn't say red box, red box, chili pepper? Well, huh? You should have said your red box would have been a favorite way to, right? Wouldn't you connect the box? Oh, uh, yeah, but you're not or, dialing with the red box. box. Or blue box. Is blue box for dialing? Yeah, but like that's before my time. I missed out on the red boxing, blue boxing craze. I mean, but I thought that's what your book was. All right, it's red box. Red boxing is the thing that imitates the um, payphone coins. Hey, can you say, can you autograph and send me a new copy of your book? Because the one I had got stolen by Sloth, or he borrowed it, you know, never gave it back, (laughs) you know, kind of thing. So, sure, what happened to Sloth? uh, I don't know, I think he, um. I miss Sloth. He was going back to school, and I think he met a ah, girl. What a loser. I think. No, that's good for him. I he hope they break girl. up so he'll come back to the community and hang out with us. That's good. He was kind of mean <laughs> to me a few times. Ah. After the for after the second time, I was like, all right, I'm done. You know. Hey, uh, LJ in the chat room wants to know if you're going to do a KDK show still, like a tribute show. That is the plan. It could be because I don't want to do it without Ted Webb, and Ted Webb is perpetually busy with hockey. Ah. So I'm starting to, trying to get that hockey. going, and also Zolar. Uh, all thoughts with him. I forgot to mention this on the show. I did Saturday. He got into a car accident. He I got saw cut, that. He was on his bike. Yeah, he got cut off by a fucking pickup truck. So. Uh, yeah, I didn't know he rode a bike. I thought he like motorcycle, right, or, or a bike. Yeah, motorcycle. He's okay. go, he goes around New York City like fucking the Batman. Yeah, I always shit. see him in the car. Like, he's always yeah. driving a car on his camera and making it's, videos about yeah. it. Mm-hmm. I've never seen him on a bike. He got into that bike shit now, too. Yeah. It's crazy. Fuck yeah, that. I want to hear a KDK tribute show. Yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah, Brett, how about me and you messing with KDK, though, man? Like, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you assholes. 
<laughs> he started it though. Like, <laughs> like literally, we were listening to a show, and you're making people go over there for a UPS package that you're calling, saying that <laughs> I'm I'm Dave, and I got your package. You need to come get this shit now, motherfucker. They're like, knocking on the door as 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 KDK's dude shows. Yeah, yeah. He's in the middle of a call. He's like, oh, hold on, <laughs> someone's at the door. Call, and you just fucking hear, you know. <laughs> And people have done that to me, by the way. Oh, that's nice. Like like back in the phone show days, they figured out my address, send pizzas to me and stuff. Nice. My kids would I've come to my, my door, hey, Dad, there's pizza here. <laughs> <laughs> like, here, take the money. I don't care. I've been there. That sucks. <laughs> Surprise doesn't happen here. Everyone knows this address. Nah. Hey. Nah. Hey, Harvey, what's up? Yeah. Hey. Well, I, uh, nothing. How you doing, Carlito? Good to good to see you and hear you. I'm nominal. Thank you for asking. How are you doing? This groovy, groovy baby. This is El Hombre, uh, calling from up in Canada. Are you a friend? Yeah, we did some uh, we did some good old uh, prank calls back in uh, 2015 for Pranksgiving. Are you El Hombre that did the uh, songs for me? I am El Hombre that did the song for Holy you. Holy yeah. shit! He's done cool you got songs, video Carlito. For us. Yeah, which songs does he do for you? Because you've been having some good songs on your show lately. Mm, uh, what, oh, it wasn't one of the good ones. Oh no, you did oh. like several of the really good ones. <laughs> You're just being modest and stuff. Yeah, you know, humble brag. Yeah. I just, I just called to say, you know, so it's so good to hear you guys together. You know, like shooting the breeze about old timey stuff. Yeah, um, that's what us old men you know, do. And, yeah, exactly, you know, and, and it's nice to see your situation room is really well decorated. Oh, thank you. Who's yeah, me? Or good. I, and uh, Carlito, I like I like the hair. It's it's looking good, buddy. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Do and open a bun. Notice yeah. he only says that to Carlito, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you, Brad, or whatever. Yeah, so anyways, um, what, I, what I called to say is that you guys have been doing a whole lot of shows lately. Well, at least you, Brad, Mr. Brad. Carlito, you've been doing some shows. Yeah, he did one on Sunday. Was it Sunday or Saturday? Yeah. Saturday. I was showing off my room on the camera. Like, I, I, I redid the Situation Room. These two, my desk was over there. It was like the Blair Witch Project up in here, man. Yeah, this is an old webcam. It's like 10 years old. Dobelina? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Dobelina. I yeah. actually have a... Uh... Wait, let's see. Ah, you can't see it. I have a turntable now. Well, shit, what oh, are you nice. do with a turntable, Brad? I don't know. A, a certain ex gave it to me a year, year or two ago. All right. So you know, and I you know records, what's neat so. about the turntables is I just picked up a turntable uh, the other day from my girlfriend. And the funny thing is, is it, got, it, it had a record already on it. And it says, for all the children I love or something like that. And it's got this creepy cowboy on it. <laughs> That's yeah, it's great. real scary. Do you know who it's by? Yeah. I don't know. Some twisted cowboy from North Bay, Ontario. Hmm. You should make a video of you playing it and dancing to it or something. <laughs> <laughs> Naked. That's it. <a> <laughs> Facebook doesn't allow that anymore. Ah, fuck. I got my account banned for a few weeks. For dancing naked to cowboy songs. Yeah. For dancing, na dancing naked to cowboy songs. It was real bad. That sucks. Bad news, man. Bad news. That sucks. So anyways, I I'm really glad to hear you guys are doing this thing. And this show, Brad, um, I know you don't do prank calls. And I'm not going to ask you to do prank calls. Um, but I think it's awesome that you're just interviewing people in the community. Because it's great for the people who don't know people like Carlito. And then look what happens. Yes. We are you know we are Filipino. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah, you can you can meet the Filipinos. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm sorry, that was my fault. I'm accidentally clicking on things. But yeah, That's yeah. Okay. I missed like I missed the phone show, and like I'm not trying to bring bring back the phone show or anything, but um, yeah, I just missed the whole call in thing, like just dealing with random callers, be, saying weird things to me, and that, those were yeah, good times. Well, yeah. Speaking speaking about weird things, here's a weird thing. Oh shit! Um, here it comes. There we go. I'm, 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 I'm hovering man. the hang up button. And I was walking in the forest with a little girl the other day. Okay. And the we, little girl uh, says, It's time to go. It's cold and it's raining and I'm scared. Uh-huh. And then, and then I said... And then the cowboy music started scared? playing. 
Goodbye, you horses. You're scared. I have to walk out of this forest alone. <laughs> Aha! All right, I've heard b- that. B- bye, Elmer. <laughs> yeah, it's like I heard that. In <laughs> All right. And I'm an old man. That was actually funny. I like that one. Well, you. Yeah. Yeah, I changed the situation room all around the other day over the weekend. Yeah? I'm surprised my Stacy show went so well because, uh, like, I, I unhooked everything and then rehooked it back up, and then the next day I'm doing a Stacy show. Crap. Everything worked. It went much That's better than today when we had to restart the show. How long did it take you to do it all, though? Oh, a couple That's days. A okay. Just yeah. tearing everything down and moving everything out of the room. Did, did you ever look around at some point? I'll do that, and I'll look around at some point. It's like, I've made everything 50 times worse. How am I going to get out of this now? <laughs> you know? yeah. There's this yeah. issue. Like, I can't just move my desk. I have to take everything off the desk and, like, unbolt things from the desk. Like, my monitors are bolted to the desk and everything. Oh, wow. And like there's this thing where I really wish my desk was two inches over so something would fit in a certain spot, and it's, it's just not going to happen. That's kind of uh, a bummer. The, those two inches, just yeah, dude. I had to, I put in a smart lock today, at my here in my house, and oh god, it was just it was a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, so, so your your like, lock can be hacked through the internet now. Yay! Now, yeah, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, it's just super convenient because now I can just you know wave my phone at the lock and it you know comes yeah. open. It's yeah, big, yeah, yeah. But I'm no good at that stuff. Using my hands and stuff like that, I can't. I have a question for you. What's the gray box in front of your white desk phone? <laughs> yeah, that's that a one. Raspberry, that's a Raspberry Pi. Oh, what's it do? It uh, runs RetroPie, and I have like a few thousand games on there, a whole bunch of retro systems. Any, oh, okay. It, yeah, anything from like Atari 800 all the way up to PlayStation X that's runs awesome. on here. Yeah. I thought it was some piece of weird obscure phone equipment but that's no. cool too no no it's it's it, it's made to look like a little miniature super nintendo it's a little miniature snes basically um laugh track matt sending me an el hombre video i don't know if i should play it right now but it's two minutes long that's you know- song Ever since I was a kid, I've had your voice in my head. I call you every night before I go to bed. With every number and every ring, bell operator, you're my thing. Your innocent message puts me right on my ass. He, he's done like three or four songs for me. They're all pretty awesome, like this. 400 hertz coursing through my veins. If I don't hear your voice, I might go insane. The number you have dialed is not in service. Please check the number and try again. The number you have dialed is not. It's one of those videos that Matt did for it, and it's just like um, random flashy videos. Like I'm pretty sure I'm getting a seizure right now. <laughs> yeah, he. he that's a, <laughs> that's a neat site. I've thought about incorporating that for my own stuff. Yeah, yeah, for prank uh-huh. calls. That's a great idea. Yeah, he 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 uploads the MP3 and you just put in like a few keywords for what kind of images you want it to find and it does. Oh, it. I didn't know it was that easy. I thought yeah he was putting yeah. that all together. I thought Matt yeah had he was doing talent. like three hour long MP3 shows that he was and it was taking him like 24 hours to do. But <laughs> it was pretty yeah yeah. I thought Matt had talent. I gotta get back on my YouTube game. Guess I was wrong. Yeah, I was playing your YouTube stuff before the show, and like, what the hell? Come on, Carlito. Get yeah, with it. I don't know. I'm just a busy guy. What I've been I really see? lazy with my main YouTube. I just put my shows up now. I don't put a lot of single videos up anymore. Oh, no. Okay. So, and that's easy to do, right? Just not the whole just show, because you're already doing it on YouTube Live, right? Oh, no, no. I, I, um, I totally I redo the shows. You know, I put the intro on, or the, uh, the intro text an outro oh. text and um, like a weird slideshow thing that everybody hates. Oh yeah, you usually get the thum, 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 yeah, whatever that. Yeah, at the end. Yeah, I like that. Oh the so, yeah the AT and T, um, uh, IBM, yeah William Shatner, <laughs> exit stuff. Yeah, the ins- insulate I think is what they call it. Yeah, that old yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh shit, Matt says that site is down now. That sucks. Oh. Ooh, there goes that plan. I guess I won't come back to YouTube. That means Suckers. Matt's probably behind on his YouTube as well. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want to call in, I don't remember the number. I think it's 845 something. 470-0336. Is that right? That's probably some Dude, old lady's I, number. I don't know. That's your number. <laughs> I don't know. I don't I never how many people it. walked? Did it go down to the twenties now? We're at seventy something. We lost it. We lost uh, viewers, listeners. Whatever. Oh no, no. There's eighty-seven people on right now. Oh, is there? Watching, okay. watching on the uh, the Facebooks. Hello. Like I like we were getting a ton of calls a minute ago, and now there's no calls coming in. They all come in at once, and I think like every time I um, finish one of these shows, I have all these emails saying, saying channel congestion alert. Uh, you know, uh, I don't. I don't know if call centric's gonna give me problems. Oh shit! About all I this. I hope it works. I hope it works. I really was. Ex I really am excited. Uh, I've been thinking about it like for weeks now. Like, I get to take questions from the audience, even if they're just from the chat room. You know, yeah. I'll answer anything. I'll try. I mean, I'm sure there's stuff I can't answer. I. It's crazy that the obvious questions I thought would definitely come up tonight that no one's been asking. I'm here. <laughs> I don't know what the obvious question is, but ah, uh, you know, we're gonna find out. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm rebooting my uh, Blink client. Blinkity blink. Okay, here we go. Maybe that uh -oh. was the problem. Hey, you're on the air. You're on the air with Ed. That's supposed to be Carol, but whatever. All right, hanging up on you. We can't hear you if you're talking. Oh wait, Bye. maybe maybe it's my fault. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, oh. now you're on the air. Now we hear you. Hi. Hey. Hi. This is Tan Man. How's you're it going? You're on the air. Hey, Tan Man. You're on the air. Good. I'm Brad. Oh, thank you. Oh, good, good. This hey, Carlito. Guest, Carlito. Um, I Hi, wanted Tan to uh, ask you. You know, I kind of started listening to Tan you Man. Around, Tan you know. Man. Tan Man. What you doing? Yes. What I you... am trying to talk. Okay, go ahead. Oh. Don't let me. Don't oh, let me well stop you. <laughs> I apologize. I, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. <laughs> it's okay. I wanted, Go to ask Carlito, I wanted to ask Carlito a question. Is it an obvious possible. question? No, no, I don't Fuck. think so. I hope not. All right, let's 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 hear it. Well, Carlito, I started listening to you around the time you joined uh, PCU, um, and I kind of wanted to ask you, like, if you could, like, talk about, like, your experience, you know, working, you know, uh, you know, with the PCU crew and, like, with KDK. I've been listening to a lot of his old shows lately, and, Man, uh -huh. I just miss the guy so much and just, like, you know, just realize just how much fun, you know, back in the day was. Not that it's not fun now, but um, I just wanted to see if you just kind of give a little insight more into that. And I heard you're still playing sure. on doing the KDK tribute show, so um, that's, that's good to hear, man. So um, that's all, all right. I really got. But oh, okay. Well, first of all, thank you for your question, and thank you to Brad Carter yeah. for having me here tonight. Uh, what, I, well, I, what I remember the most out of the PCU Can you days, say you're welcome at least? What? Okay. Hey, well, what Carlito I, remembers most about PCU is yeah, yeah. What what Sorry. I remember the most is uh, a, a period of about four or five months where everything was firing on all cylinders and we're all it was dude. Come on, I mean you had you had KDK, me, Zolar, Doctor Lego, and Reclude doing and Jen Stewart at one point just doing shows, uh, you know, seven days a week. It was a lot of fun. Um, I, I remember a lot of Dr. Lego, though, then, like, kind of wanting to take over, kind of, you know, and then, like, the infighting started with KDK, and then KDK just got really bitter. No, um, not him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot, of, and I, I just, yeah, I mean, there was, like, a big schism there where, like, PCU and, I guess, Dr. Lego had, like, a hostile takeover and became, what was it, prank call radio? PCR. It was PCU and PCR, and I was like, I I played both sides, and I was on PCR also, but I would when I would do the show, I would say, yeah, we're I I had a on my soundboard, I had like a like a sensor beep, so it was I would go PC beep every time I would mention it, and <laughs> like I just remember a high pitch Eric from the Stern show hearing that and going off on me and voice was like, you motherfucker, you keep beeping out PCR. Uh, Good times. I anyway. missed out on all this stuff. Like I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah, I completely missed out. I missed out on the days when KDK was hilarious. Apparently, mm -hmm. I know yeah, he was I, too. I did, 
it wasn't until after that that I learned about about Brad's show through listeners. I think MC3 Clay and a few others are listening to my show, and, and they were just mentioning a lot of uh, a lot of your your, your original po- podcast. Was it the Phone Show podcast? Right? Yeah, it was the Phone Show podcast. That's what I was doing when we started talking to each other. Before that, it was PLA yeah. Radio. Yeah, well, I, I was listening to that podcast for like a year before I finally reached out to you to talk to you, Yeah, which was when I quote-unquote got raided, and you put an article online about it. Yep. You put an art. You put a blog post or whatever, and then I reached out to you and said, "Hey, no, you reached out to me for, you know, just to ask about it." And I talked to you about it, and then a year later, I just came out to you at random and said, "Hey, do you want to start a network together?" And you're like, "Yeah, sure." <laughs> you didn't even argue. Like, yeah, sure. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it wasn't a network. It was not, we're going to partner together. We're I'm like not doing you know, anything you know, else. Yeah, yeah, we were just was, syndicating each other on each other's networks. Like, yeah, we were both using yeah. each other's shoutcast, basically. Yeah, yeah. And then from there, like, we we made you guys has made friends of my friends, and like likewise, and vice versa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good times. So yeah, I just remember it being a, a lot of fun. Um, it was cool because I got to meet, become friends with Zolar and Reclude and Lego and stuff. Sure. Uh, but yeah. KDK was just he uh, by by nature KDK was just a really I don't know he was a special kind of guy I guess it was hard to work with him so we yeah. didn't understand sure. his yeah. genius yeah we did not he yeah. was definitely the Kanye West of prank calls <laughs> well cool well yeah that's all I kind of wanted just to hear more about that and uh, I appreciate it guys mm. sure Th- thanks for listening for so long that's a long time man that's thirteen years yeah, plus yeah quite- so. I, I, I mean, I wish I could say it was consistent, but I've been kind of off and on really the past about five years. But hmm. no, man, around what, 2005, I think, is when I started listening to PCU and KDK. And then I actually cool. just re-listened to the episode where KDK is like, yeah, we're going to have a new guy coming on. His name's Carlito. He's going to be doing the Madhouse. <laughs> so uh, I, I thought that was pretty funny. So I just wanted to call in with that, though. So. Is cool. there audio awesome. of that, of, of KDK saying, hey, there's this new guy coming on? Like, I know it's hard to find uh, his shows. Was it, is it 2005 or 2006 episode? Uh, it, would be a two th- he, it would It would probably be July or June 2005. So okay, I think it was, it was a July then. It was a July. I've, just, I've listened to about three or four episodes this weekend just when I got time. And, um, That'd be kind of yeah, cool to he, hear. He said that because wasn't it right after Zol- – didn't Zolar start like right before you did too or something? Yeah, Zolar started the week before me. And then I went, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, KDK explains that on, on my 10 year anniversary show when I talked to him, which is kind of cool to make peace with them. And, you know, kind of, you know, I know. I remember that interview. That was nice. Yeah. It was kind of a nice moment there, but he, he said, he said he, you know, he decided to put out a call to, to find more people, you know, to do shows on, on the nascent PCU network and Zolar and me came out around the same time. I asked for an extra week to prepare longer. I wanted Friday night, I, but Zolar right. beat me, but like he, the day before he had asked KDK for Friday night. So I said, oh, I'll take Thursday night. I'll go up against blackout. Oh, an asshole. He used to do shows blackout <laughs> for blackouts box. Man. Oh, yeah, I forgot that about used to him. be an excellent lineup way back in the day. PC. Yeah. Had. Yeah, I used man. I used to love listening to Sean Ward on Sundays. That was really oh, dude, like free co- time for co- me. Completely glossed over Sean Ward too. Shit, forgot about that. Yeah. DJ Glowworm yeah. did shows for a while too. Remember? Mm-hmm. Back in the day. Yeah. yeah. Remember I don't know him? how I didn't listen um, to all this stuff back then. What, what was I doing? I was doing nothing. I don't know. What's what the hell? Me, man? What's wrong with me? <laughs> well, well, I'll go yeah. ahead. And I'll free up the line here. But no, I just wanted to kind of call and kind of reminisce about those old stories. So yeah. Cool. Okay, Good bye. Times. Thanks, bye. <laughs> bye. Get out of here. Get out. That's cool. I guess we listened in like a long time. Yeah. Legend's been putting KDK stuff up on his YouTube channel, like some of the funnier stuff, I guess. Oh, yeah? Okay. And like I'd never really heard KDK's good stuff before. Like he didn't play <laughs> a lot of it on his current show. No. He would just... Yeah, he, he wouldn't edit. He wouldn't replay his stuff. Nothing. Yeah. But he was really funny. Like I was I was like, whoa, mm-hmm. like, this, he used to be pretty funny. He was. Yeah. He was more into just calling people and talking to him when I was listening to him. <laughs> and it was still funny. Like, funny stuff still happened, but... Yeah. Yeah, he also took... He had a... Uh, there were a pair of Siamese twins. There were conjoined twins that, <laughs> that lived 
in his condo complex and he would take video of them and post it on it was pre YouTube. I don't know what it would have been back then. Oh, I've they, seen one of those videos. Yeah, he called it uh, he called it Crab Girl. Yeah. And, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, that was what an that asshole. Did that. Yeah, he called it. <laughs> Who does Crab that? Girl. Yeah, and this it there was a show like in oh six or it might have been the holidays oh five where the Crab Girl had made a, a snowman. And in the middle of the show, KDK's boyfriend's like, "Hey, yeah, the 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 conjoined twins made a snowman." So they decided <laughs> in the middle of the show to go out there and add snow to it to make it into a crab snowman. Oh my god! What? <laughs> so they gave it an extra head, an arm, and I, I no longer like KDK. <laughs> oh, Sorry, <shit. laughs> he's an asshole. Yeah, they, I remember they took pictures of it, put up the four on oh, the KDK. Oh my god! Wow. KD, oh, dude. Yeah, that was funny stuff. Hey, you're on the air with Carlito. Hey, what's going on? What's and going Carol. on? Glow Worm, man. Hey. Glow Worm, what's up? What's up? I just, <laughs> met, I just name dropped you, Glow Worm. What's up, man? Not much, man. I didn't even know you were Chilling. listening. Yeah, but hell yeah, dude. I, it popped up and I was like, oh shit, it's Brad and Carlito. What the fuck are they doing? Not prank calls, guys, that's yo, for sure. Yo, well, yeah. that's sad because I was totally down for that. <laughs> yeah, Brad, you might not know Glowworm. He was a pranker from back in the PCU days, and uh, KDK hosted a lot of his pranks. <clears throat> and he would listen a lot, and he, he would join me and uh, Milkman here and there. I've heard uh, his name pop up a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, I miss the old days, though. I know, man. It's all right. We still got him on MP3. We're okay. Yeah, uh, where, where's Milkman? Milkman is very busy. He's Ubering it up, man, in San he's Francisco. He's doing Uber? I, yeah, he's doing Uber, and he works really hard. He's he's still hurt from that accident, and he can't take time oh. off, unfortunately, because uh, he's in a paradox because if he takes days off, he, he loses money, but he needs to take time off to rest his shoulder from the accident. He's not going and to. he he needs to get surgery, but he can't get it done because that it, it would put him out of a car for, you know, a few weeks, and he can't afford to do that. So he's he's trying to catch up. Uh, but I, what the hell, I don't keep man? up with him. We we keep up regular, not as as regular, you know, where we do a show every week and we're always talking. But I hit him up, you know, at least once a month. I try to. I really should do more, but I I, I catch up with him. He's doing. He's all right. He's doing good. He's he's good. He's just you know. He's just hustling. He's working hard. Nothing wrong with that. No, nah, man. Damn. <laughs> Except when you need to go to the hospital. So, 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 so when you need surgery in your shoulder, yeah. He got to get surgery on his shoulder. Yeah. He's 88 <laughs> years old. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. Um, I heard y'all talking about KDK. Um, <laughs> I have a lot of stories with KDK. Who doesn't? Uh, there were some good stories. There were some bad stories. Did like, he hit on you? That was where I kind of got my start. Like, What's the ratio? Of my first shot. Huh? What's the ratio of good to bad KDK stories? Uh, Probably like 60-40. Okay. That's not too better bad. than I thought. Yeah, that's better than probably most can say, you know. Yeah. But, like, I don't know. I remember, like, uh, matter of fact, I remember when I first met you, Carlito, and I first met... um. I remember doing calls with uh, what was his name? I, I know I did a call with uh, with Fat Dis before. Um, okay. Remember him, Fat Dis? I remember Fat Dis. Uh, yeah. 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 And um, there was another guy, a guy from like Texas. I was doing calls with a good bit, and he was from. Uh, I met him on Lunatic Fringe and stuff, and Sean Ward and Jen Stewart and all them other crazy assholes. Yeah, fat this, dude, fat this. Man, like, see, those are those are calls that I you could be, I used to be able to go to the KDK site to get, but that site's down now. I hope some. I wonder if someone has an archive of the old site, because KDK, first of all, he had a whole bunch of like prank calls from way back in o two, o three, o four. You know, people that mm -hmm. don't do pranks anymore that I have no idea how to find anymore, and they were real funny. They come up on Ted Webb's on the Blue Planet stream um, here and there, but I like to download them. Um, that plus he also had soundboards out the ass. KDK had like 300 something soundboards hosted on his website. 
He yep. would download any soundboard he'd find. He'd upload it and he'd put it up like an archive. Um, yep. Like yeah, those, that's just like celebrity soundboards. Yeah, so like yeah. those old Flash okay. fucking Newgrounds fucking soundboard shits. You know what I mean? He, like, he need to get his website, like steal the domain and make a tribute to him or something. Yeah, that that it hasn't been stolen already by uh, the Chinese. You know what is I it? I don't know. Uh, it could be like an Indian company. Like they took my one of my old websites. They took it over. It's and I got to pay ten thousand bucks to get it because I let oh, it lapse. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I'm on it right now. It's like free reverse phone number lookup, prank oh. calls online. You know, a bunch of links to things. Surprised Doctor Lego didn't take that. Yep. That's too Man, bad. Um. So I'm definitely going to start getting more back involved. You better with the, with, with, with the scene, man. I look. I know I've been saying for a long time I'm gonna like come back and do shows and shit like that. And for a while, Milkman was on my ass about that. Yeah. Like he was harassing me about that. He was like, "Yo, you need to get with Carlito." <laughs> Fucking Milkman. And, and and we can find a spot for you and this, that, and the third. And I was like, "Man, I don't know. I don't know." But I've been having an itch, and you know, just sitting here and watching you guys and. Seen everybody in the chat. It's like, yeah. Well, get get a mixer account. Just jump on, man. That's all you got to do. Yeah, it's easy. That's all you got. Yeah, and no, I'll I'll Hurry make sure you up. get promoted. I'll make sure we spread the word and all that. You know, you can come on my show and all that stuff. If you want to get back in, you're a funny dude, man. Give yeah, it a shot. I, I remember I did um I did a couple calls with uh on uh, Madhouse. Yeah. And um, remember the one about the uh, Indian reservation or whatever it was? I was yeah. trying to a park or some shit. That lady yeah. was tripping. There was, yeah, <laughs> and then there was something where you talked about, you, were, you said to this little kid voice, and you said you were going to spin kick somebody over Pokemon cards or something. And, all right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the one that yeah. kind of got me kind of popular was the whole Fleeta act. The old, the whole Fleeta, yeah. Yeah, Fleeta and her husband. Fleeta is an old black lady that um, this key, this guy he does a really good um, good impersonation of. It's really good, good mm. character, good voice. Yeah, let me know, man. We can always do something, you know. We can always, yeah, I can always help you out. In the meantime, we're hanging up on you. See you That's later. I'm myself. Uh, I hung up on him first. Yeah. Take that, motherfucker. Yeah. Dominance. Who does he think he is? Hey. Yeah. Hey. What do you okay. want? I want to talk. What's going About on? what? Come on. I have all day. Memory. It's bullshit. Oh, hey, wasted memory. I'll be hey, nice to you, know. I guess. Hey, you guys got great sound effects. How, Charlie, the where'd you get those gross sounds from? That shit's amazing. <laughs> the, 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 gross, uh, the gross sounds are from Dr. Lego's... Uh, I really I wanted about to, this before. I really wanted to play the hang-up sound effect and hang up on him. To <laughs> Did you miss show, it? Did show you him? Know? No, he's still there. He's still there. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, they started out with this this tape that Dr. Lego made back in the 90s that I bought a copy of before I even knew him back in 95. I think I bought a copy of the tape. And uh, I, I put them, I, I digitized them later. And Was it the yeah, tube bar? A... No, <laughs> no. It wasn't that. The oh, he hung up. Oh, what a death. But it's okay. He's listening. Go ahead. Yeah, he's taking his his answer off the air, like they say on conservative radio. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean that's like the shitting, the pissing, the original pissing one, and the other ones. Uh, I've just found them on YouTube, you know, stuff like that. Tabachi made a, a pissing one that I use also. He made that for me. He peed uh, and recorded it. That was very nice to him. Now I'm gonna think of Tabachi every time I hear you play the pee sound effect. There you go. What happened to him? The one, the one without him. the whistling is not. Is is the Tabachi one? The, the whistling one is Doctor Lego. <laughs> yeah. Was was he impersonating Frank Drebin? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He was maybe. I think he just had to piss, man. Yeah. You know? That's just how he pisses. He whistles. Yeah. Whistles while he feel, pisses. Makes it clean. It feels cleaner. My favorite sound yeah. effect is this one. <laughs> the <laughs> clang. Yeah, that's my uh, my red phone. I like put the microphone next to it and just slammed it a bunch of times and got the best one. Oh really? Yeah, that was home. Oh, I didn't know that was a homemade one. Yeah, wow. yeah. Like for a while on the phone show, I, I just had the phone next to the like on the desk, and I was slamming it down, trying to make that noise manually every time. Really? Yeah. Get kind, out. Okay. Kind of, kind of like before uh, Olga sent me the ripping sound effect for ripping up people's mail. Uh, I was just grabbing yeah. random papers off my desk and ripping up <laughs> important things. <laughs> you ran out of paper at some point. <laughs> 
cool. Hey there. Hey, hey, what's up, guys? Oh, nothing. Hi. It's enough of the small talk. Come on. All right. Um, if, uh, Who's this? Shit. Who it's, is uh, it? Ethan. Carlito knows me. Oh, I hey, met Ethan. up with him in New York two weeks ago. Well, I know you, oh, too. I yeah, it's Ethan. He came. He came to the meetup. What's up, man? Is this one of the two people that came to the meetup because of me? Because you said two of them was because of me, two of them was because of you. Yeah, this is one of the two that became because of him. Because of, of you. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Ethan. It yeah. makes me look cooler. No problem. Thanks. It increases my clout with Carlito. Yeah. Right. It's competition. Big competition. That's right. Carlito. Carlito clout. That should be a website. Carlito clout. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what you doing, Ethan? Well, I'm actually just getting ready for bed. Got to get up. Got to get up early. Ah, you sound like Simplex. He's always complaining about his bedtime. Yeah. But do you, sh call do you shower in the morning or at night? At night. I just did. Okay. Ah, weirdo. That's not. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah. What's yeah, wrong with you? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's okay. one less thing I have to do in the morning. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Yeah, but you you leak overnight, man. You gotta you do uh, what you want. I just need a morning shower. It's like feel shitty if I don't have a shower in the morning. Got to yeah. have the morning shower. Well, on the weekends, nice. I'll shower in the morning. Oh, okay, well that's all right. Nice long shower. Nice. nice. Yep. Nice, nice. You're a very clean guy. I'm sure it's fine. I've met you in person, Thank so I know you. that. Carlito yeah. um, commented. Yeah, He's well. like these these guys showed up, and this one guy was so clean. <laughs> <laughs> the, one of the ones that you sent to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, I was like leaning over and smelling one? him. What? Was I the clean one? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> Who's the other guy? <laughs> Sorry, but you know, you're you're number two. Yeah. All right, I'll take that. Okay. What do you want? Um, just calling to say thanks. Um, I pretty much got all my questions answered two weeks ago thanks to Carlito. But just calling to say thanks and what's up. Hey, well, thanks for coming out. It was fun. I answered a ton of questions. That's that's all I did was answer questions <laughs> and drink beer. It was great. Yeah, we, yeah. we all agreed, right, uh, Ethan? We all agreed we want to have a, a a proper prank call community convention as long as Brad can make Definitely. it. Definitely. Yeah, but Brad's always, oh, well, I don't know. I have more yeah. time. I have a lot more free time these days. Yeah. So it's got to happen soon. I want to say this yeah, summer, like, like you I, know, I like, uh, like I you just, mentioned Chicago. Yeah, Chicago would be nice. New York would be nice. Go to Hope, just meet yeah, up at Hope. Yeah, I'm down for whatever. Yeah, man. I like, yeah, yeah. It's always something with me, you know. Yeah, it's yeah, my pro it's, it's my probation holding me back right now. That's the only. Uh, thing. I, I think I think if we planned it right, it would be a pretty good event, man. We get a lot of people to come. Yeah, Between we definitely me should. And you. Yeah, we should make it happen. Nice. All yeah. right. Maybe I, I doubt a, a hotel would let us reserve it, but a conference room in a hotel and fucking call people from in there. Yeah, we can figure just, it out. Just get a room. We got to piggyback off of an existing conference. <laughs> just a fuck, room. Fuck expenses. <laughs> we'll need like an embassy suites, but yeah. Like a nice find big a shit suite. hotel. That's right. Yeah. It's just rent, yeah. rent out a storefront. Say, yeah, we're going to start a business here. You know, like those <laughs> where, warehouse <laughs> yeah, wa rave parties? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like warehouse raves, you know, like you see in the movies. We'll, we'll hold a conference instead. Yeah. Eventually, <laughs> if right. we can work our way up to a prank called Cruise, I think that would be the best, yes. where we all just get on a cruise ship. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm right to wait for down. Elon Musk to get that international internet satellite thing going on so that we could do the calls from a cruise ship. But once that's done, we'll be good to go. You always take yeah. over at Starbucks or Internet Cafe. Oh, I hate that idea. Bye. Yeah, that's bad. Packet loss. Yeah, what, what the hell? What yeah. the hell, Ethan? What was hey. he doing? Hey, it's hey, T Falcon. Oh, hey, T Falcon. Hey, Carlito, how are you? Hi, T Falcon. I'm all right, I guess. I'm good that's too. Good. I'm good too, yeah. T Falcon. That's good. Yeah, I was I was wanting to know. Um, yep. I have an idea. Uh, that's your question. Instead See you. Like... Thanks for calling. Bye. <laughs> what? No. No. Your idea. <laughs> Ready, set, go. Okay. Okay, so ten seconds to pitch this idea some, to us. Like Twitch raids, sometimes, like call in to like random Twitch streamers and say cactus and stuff. 
Do they put their I'm just phone? Really mess with them. Do they like what, what would you have? What would you have to get their number? Like they take calls or um, something? Probably. Yeah, Twitch streamers sometimes take calls and things like that. Hmm. I didn't know that. I was not aware of and that. You can spam their chat and stuff and kind of like make Dwight. Dwight doing cactus. doing the the Facebook Pearl streamers and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Except we'll have like, like eighty people calling them. Yeah, I think it would be really funny. There's like compilations on YouTube of Twitch streamers getting trolled and stuff. Yeah, let's let's troll Twitch streamers. Fuck That'd prank calls. Next, but, um, next season on Calls of Mass Confusion, Twitch yeah, streamers. It would, it would be pretty funny, in my opinion. Um, but w when are you guys gonna do another phone phone mob too? Phone mob. Oh, like a radio show? Yeah. I don't know. I've got a list exactly. still because we did some a couple of years ago and then I just never did any more. Okay. I don't know um, why I'm not doing. Yeah, that. because I've never been a part of that before. And I think it would be really funny. Tomorrow we're doing a radio phone mob tomorrow. All right. <laughs> it's gonna happen tomorrow. I'll be at work. 4 p.m. While you're at work. <laughs> Brad, you need to you need to say band chode more and matter chode. Okay. Carlito needs to teach you all the insults. Like Ulu okay. que pase. Yeah, hey, why don't you call someone else's show, you fucking matter chode? Yeah. Oh, he beat you to it again. Yeah. yeah. No, actually, I just, yeah, I was out of sync with my, my button hitting. Yeah. yeah. Hey, this, a lot of people said they, they'd like Chicago. I think that's a lot of feedback. I've asked in the past, and then this time here, people say Chicago, you know. Yeah. Well, for... the con can just be Matt's house. Well, yeah. I mean, he'd be down. <laughs> that's the, that's the venue. It probably smells there, though. That's true. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. I yeah. know how you are about how people smell. Well, he doesn't set the pee. So. Have you met Matt? No, I have not. That's I hope right. to at yeah. the convention next year. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of people I want to meet in Chicago, so it would be, it'd be convenient to go out there. Well, Jag TV is going to Chicago this summer. Okay. And I, I'm like... You know, nah, never mind. We'll, we'll figure something out someday. I don't, I don't want to make sure. promises. Right, right, right. Hey, you're on the air. I'm going to be much nicer to you than I was to T-Falcon. Hey, you. Oh. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey Brad. Hey. It's Olga. Oh, hey, Olga. Wait, hey, no, no, it's I'm not. using a Google Voice number with a weird area code. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, what the hell? Where are you? <laughs> I don't know. It's a Wisconsin number. I don't know why I picked it. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. How's, how's it going? You're like cheese. You were just tired of me not picking up your calls, and you're like, "I'm gonna fool Brad. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. get a new number." And... It's true. Yep. So, um, yeah. Carlito, how's Homer doing? Homer's sleeping. He's doing good. He upset me today because I was working on that smart lock. Did you kick him? And he insisted on going in and out, in and out the house, I and he's in the garage eating something. I don't know. Then he throws up everywhere, and I had enough. So I oh, yeah. Him. Yeah. He's doing good. He uh, had a limp uh, Friday. We got a little worried, and $300 later, found out he's fine. So, Aww. yeah. Probably because yeah, he kicked too much. Fine. Yeah, he's doing good, though. He Yeah, he's doing good. He's growing. He's 43 pounds. He is oh, 10 months shit. old in a couple days. So, he's growing. I, yeah. I, I saw him on your snap on the Snapchat machine, and it was he was so cute. Aww. Yeah, I called him a you, call, you kept calling him a motherfucker. So it was yeah, funny. <laughs> I talk shit to him all the time. <laughs> I didn't yeah. know you Snapchatted uh, Carlito actively. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're you're in the group that I Snapchat and I oh, only okay. I just Snapchat. I barely ever log into Snapchat anymore. I should start uh, doing that more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really I, have anything else to say. I just you know wanted to call in, say hi, hey, hope everyone's yeah. doing okay. Yeah. yeah. Hey Olga, remember everybody. when we remember when we pranked um, Oster customers together? Oster. Say yes. I I don't remember that. <laughs> yeah, somebody else was saying that. They're saying they loved you in that call, and I'm pretty sure it, you weren't in that call. That was I like, probably, they probably, maybe they thought it was Gloria or something. I don't know. I mean, people <sighs> always mistake um, like neon for Stacy, like any female for any other female. <laughs> like I see We're that. All the same. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. So, <laughs> they they hear female you know, voice and they're just like, "Yep, sandwich maker." Exactly. 
But um, I think that's all I have for tonight. I'm going to pick up the line. You know, hang all up right. on me. Bye, Olga. Bye. Bye, Olga. Last week, I, oh yeah, you were listening to last last week when she called in and it was Stacy and her like talking to each other. I'm like, I feel like I'm in a kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> and, and they both just did this disgusted noise thing, like yeah. like they didn't think oh. it was funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're on the air. Hey, what's up? Oh, nothing. What are you huh? doing? I don't care. What's I'm your question? Hey, Carlito, what's up? It's Jonathan. Oh, I- Jonathan. It's Jonathan, Carly. Jonathan. Oh, wow. Jonathan. Hey, what's going on, Jonathan? Oh, hey, Jonathan. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, yay, Jonathan. Are you still driving buses, Jonathan? Yes, I am. Wow. What kind of a bus? Just school buses, trolleys, and that, everything. I, I do it all. What's the biggest horsepower bus? Horse. Greyhound. What color is it? Uh, blue. How tall is it? In metric. Does it have a toilet? Ha ha! Got you there, didn't I? Does it have a can't, toilet? Can't answer that question. <laughs> Take that. Yeah. <laughs> <Do-do>. <laughs> Do you no, have John? a question or a comment yeah. for Carlito or Brad? Well, um, I was just calling to see what uh, Carlia was up to. I uh, haven't heard from him in a long time. Um, I mean... Maybe you should be listening to his shows on Sunday. Yeah, it's every Sunday night. Yeah. No, I've been, I've, I've been good. You know, I'll definitely slowed down with the shows, but I, 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 I try to get him out there. You know, you just got to watch, watch on the Facebook and the YouTube. Or not the YouTube, the Twitter, and you'll see my notifications, but... Yeah, I'm doing good, you know. Very busy. Work uh work is more a part of my life now and pranks less a part of my life, but I still I still uh reign supreme, I guess. Yeah. Oh yeah. Fuck um, yeah. To answer your question about uh where it's Katie K's prank calls, I found a bunch of them on YouTube that you might want to check out. Okay. Is it on Legends uh, channel? Legend eight one three? A I can't remember. They're they're all in there. Uh, all right, all right. They I'll better look be. into that. I will we'll look into that. Okay. All right. But, but all right. Well, but it was good hearing from y'all, and I'll talk to y'all later on then. Bye, all right. Right, Jonathan. See you later, Jonathan. Yeah. Bye. Jonathan used to call into my show every week. He was a nice guy. Very nice guy. I've completely broken everything. I'm trying to like. You broke the phone. Yeah, I can't make the the thing go away. There, sort of. Oh. Like the chat room froze up again, and I'm not sure why. I was trying to fix it, and instead of fixing it, I, I messed up your window. Whatever. Oh. It's okay. Like on the recording that I'm making, it's it's all working. Just oh wait, no, it's not. Fuck. It's not. Whatever. I don't care. Who cares, right? Crap. I don't care. One bit. I don't care. It's okay. You do what you want. Hey, Ronk. Hey, how you guys doing? We're okay. Do you know Ron Carlito? Uh, no. He he used to go yeah. to twenty six hundred meetings where I went to twenty six hundred yeah. meetings. Oh wow, Ron, how you guys? The old St. Louis. Yeah. Is that the, like the nineties or was that the early two thousands? The old Galleria. It started in the ninety. It started in the nineties and then ended in the early two thousands for me. Okay, I was gonna say yeah because you moved sometime in like 03. Oh five. Oh well, yeah, but I stopped going to the meetings in around oh three or so. Yeah, they kind of got lame. Yeah, they moved somewhere. Yeah, no, they're at like some kind of like uh, I don't. I want to say it's like hackers, is in the sense that like people that do more like industrial kind of like yeah, they can weld and do things like that. So I yeah. think it's at a place that's kind of more geared towards that kind of Fuck stuff. Fuck those guys. Less less of the uh, spuds variety and and whatnot. What happened to spuds? Uh, people, I, that's a good question. People always ask me about him. I know he moved to Iowa. Really? <laughs> Carly well, does not. Like, he, he was like prohibited from leaving Missouri for quite some time. I remember like because he wanted to go on vacation at some point and couldn't. <laughs> yeah. Come back, spuds. Yeah, we miss you. you. Yeah, Fucking come spuds. back, spuds. 
Well, you know, you're completely you leaving Carlito out of this conversation, so I'm just going to have to hang up oh, on you. Uh, hang on, no, Carlito, what's your favorite kind of bird? My favorite kind of bird? It's a trick oh, question. Shit. It's a trick. Uh, Don't say big. Chicken, of course. What? Is that like a kingfisher or like a cormorant? No, no, no. kingfisher. No, not kingfisher. I no. am a really big fan of actually corvids. So things what's like a, uh, crows and jackdaws and whatnot. They're very. I don't even know what. A, I don't even know what a corvid is. Uh, it's I a whole family of birds. So it's really, like yeah. Crows, jackdaws. I, I like thing. cockatiels. You know, cockatiels are all right. You know. Ah, I cockatiel. had a cockatiel for a minute. Yeah, they're just loud, and annoying, and feathers everywhere. Yeah. yeah. They only know how to say one thing. Say, yeah. yeah. And just they say the same damn thing over and over again. Fucking. Uh, yeah. Motherfuckers. Yes. Yeah. 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 Pretty bad. All right. Good question. Yeah. Hey. All right. Well. Uh, yeah. All right. Go ahead and hang up on me, Bradley. All right. We'll miss Clank. you, Rank. Hey. hey, real quick before you take another call. Or oh, it's too late. I got I got to hang up on this guy, I guess. Yeah, oh, see you later. motherfucker. Sorry, uh, whoever you... Oh, okay, uh, who is it? We can... Uh, oh, Jack oh, Ellison, oh, oh. I've been calling for, like, forever. I got a list of questions over here. Ah, uh, yeah. Not a bird, like that one asshole. Yeah, uh, I, what the hell well, was that, well, Ronk? Well, real yeah, quick, I'll just say... Yeah, Olga was asking about Homer. Here's a picture of him from this morning. Oh, he yeah. how he's doing. There you go. That's big there Homer. There he is. Yeah. Do you see him, Jack? Do you see him? Do you see Homer? Yeah, big, big fat Homer. Yeah, I see him. Big fucking Homer. Big dick Homer. Yeah. Hey, hey, Jack. Um, uh, Jack, how's my uh, stream going? Like, is it good on that end? I, I know on my end yeah, it's, it's just a piece, yeah. piece of garbage. Going real good. Okay, that's great. Good to know. Yeah, I've been calling like crazy. I got some questions over here for uh, Big Carlito. Yeah, there's a yeah. like, there's a bunch of calls. They all come in at once, and then when I hang up, it's like the lines get congested and they all stop. And I'm sorry. Yeah, if, I noticed that. Yeah, I noticed that. It was uh, if like anyone, it was all, doo, 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 something like that. What so, uh, What happens when nobody answers? What's it go to? I don't remember what it's set to. It might be the uh, the anonymous tip thing with the bomb squad and the monkeys and all that weird shit. Oh shit! I should probably try yeah. to get rid of that. <laughs> Nah, that one's off. Awesome. Leave it. Yeah. Leave it. yeah. Fuck em. Okay, question right. number one. Okay, machine. Where did the machine come from? Because you say machine after every damn thing. I know the answer. So Carlito was watching MTV, and... <laughs> what was I? I don't know. Go ahead. I'm and sorry. Rage Against the Machine came on, and I said, why rage? No. It was uh, a TV thing, machine. though, wasn't it? No, I mean, not really. The machine was just fucking... I, I, I just, I think that I can remember was I was doing a prank to Ireland, to a Tesco store in Ireland, and I just started saying, do you have telephones? They're like, yeah, do you have telephone machines? And the guy's like, well, you're, you know, it was just a, I don't know why. I think it was just randomly. I'm just added machine. Uh, hmm. Okay, that's okay. And that, where that came from was from The Simpsons. That's what it was. Where um, Mr. Burns uh, gets a wrong number. Someone calls his desk and it's a wrong number. And he says that, I guess I suppose you need more practice working your telephone machine. That's where it came from. Uh -huh. But then, it, yeah, and TV. again, another case of where, yeah, TV, TV, yeah. The, the Simpsons is a TV show. I feel like that's where it came from. I feel like something that you say came from that Jerky Boys MTV prank call thing, but I can't remember what it was, or something uh, from MTV. Uh, was it Honey Baby? Honey no. Baby's from. Uh, no, Honey Baby's just from their pranks. Well, yeah, but Saul Rosenberg used to say, "Thank." He said once, "Thanks, honey, baby," like that, and that's where I got yeah, hey, honey, baby" yeah. from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm sorry I, I missed your stream, Jack, the other day. Oh, it's cool. I wasn't doing. I was way too drunk during that stream. I was just wearing too many masks and shit. Have you ever? Uh, have you ever oh, seen yeah, you guys? Both of you guys. Uh, that yeah, one guy that did a 2D animation and hit some of your shit in the background. Well, fuck that asshole. Cause I did a movie. And I hide a shitload of a lot of you guys are shit in the background, so hell yeah. <laughs> Got Carlito's Madhouse live in the background, and I kill Arby. So that's good. Nice. That's great. I can't wait nice. to see it. Have you seen uh, Jack's streams, Carlito? No, I have not. He puts on in I... insane uh, horror-type makeup and, and does weird shows, and oh, it's a lot I of fun. Oh, I do a YouTube channel, Jack Ellick, when I do, like, I animate horror stories. Like, you guys do, uh, like, audio comedy. I do uh, horror, but I try to animate them, you know, and... Like that. Yeah, it's good stuff. You should watch it, Carlito. Okay. 
I'll check it out. I, I like I'll your stuff you on Facebook, Jack. So yeah. Yeah, I made I an animation that. of you like just earlier, oh. right before the show. It's on the uh, Snowplow on the Phone Losers of America oh, page shit. right now. Oh shit! Let's end the show and and go watch it. Yeah. Fuck yeah! No, <laughs> don't end the show. It's too good. I love seeing you guys together. Do more shit together, man. Everyone wants that. I agree. Of course we do. Like Carlito's the do. best person you ever have on the show. Like him, and then Stacy, and then those other guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and just say it. Jag TV sucks. Yeah. I fuck mean, Jag TV. <laughs> you don't have to be an asshole to my guests. Fuck Jag. Actually, Jack. I like I like Jag. Actually, yeah, I can't. I, know. I like him too much. He's weird like me. So. <laughs> do you have any other questions? Otherwise, I'm hanging up yeah, on you. Uh, and I'm sorry it took so long to get. How? What? When and where did you guys meet and how? Just curious. Uh, we already answered that. Weren't you listening to the beginning of the show? Yeah, we're. Yeah, but I had this question written God down. Damn God damn it! I wanted to ask you. Uh, we we uh, you know, we like we both did streams. We both did our own streaming shows, and we decided to get together and start streaming on each other's networks. It was super gay. Yep. And then we just combined stuff for a while. Didn't I just broadcast on Madhouse for a while? Well, no, I had Cacti Radio. We just streamed on each other's things. That's what it was. Yeah, all I ever do is listen to you guys now, like nonstop. Carly on a fucking snowplow show, just forever. So just thank you guys for being entertaining and give me some shit to do while I edit. So you're welcome. Thanks for listening. Rock. That's love how it you. should be. Yeah. See you later. I, I love your uh, drunken voicemails and your drunken Facebook posts to me. <laughs> I gotta stop drinking. I love you too. I'll take it easy. Yeah, be good now. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> nice. We're gonna have to wrap this up. This is a long show. I want to set up voicemail, but then I'd be copying you, you know? No, you wouldn't. Everyone has a voicemail. I'm copying like every other podcast out there that has a voicemail. Yeah, but... Have a voicemail. All right. You Everyone needs a voicemail. It. We're going to set it up right now. You got it. There was a Jack Heliquin voicemail on my show I did today that I haven't put up yet, that I haven't edited. Ah, hmm. uh, oh, man. I was getting ready to pick up a call. It went away. Aw. We gotta like really like wrap this up. We've been like I can't. I don't know how long we've been going because we had those problems. But I know it's been like at least ninety minutes now. Well, can't yeah. can't have that. My favorite voicemail that you. I don't want to do long shows or I'll be copying you. My my favorite <laughs> my favorite voicemail that you had was the uh, I guess someone kept uh, leaving uh, comment cards for Wendy's. Or whatever with your name and number. Oh, and yeah. Saying stuff like you, you're the fucking Mexicans <laughs> or <laughs> fucking around too much or something. And like, I just remember some guy real upset like, Mr. Carter. Yeah. <laughs> I know the one you mean. That was great. <laughs> Mr. Carter, the Mexicans, the effing Mexicans are making your food and messing around. We block you. Do not leave any more surveys. We will not be responding to you. <laughs> I remember, I wish I knew which show that was from. If anyone out there knows which show that's from, uh, link to the show and the exact minute and seconds it is. That was a good one. That was good. Uh, someone in the chat room wants to know the current status of Jin Stewart. Uh, Jin Stewart working. He started a company and uh, he's busy with that, but I check in with him about as often as I do with Milkman. What's with people growing up and getting lives? I, I don't know. Yeah, dude, he, so Jin got, is recently, well, not recently, maybe in the last year he became single. And he wanted he wanted to fly me to Amsterdam to hang out with him and party uh, over in December of last year. And my wife was like, no, no, you're not. <laughs> I was like, come on. Uh, it's not fair because she got to go to Amsterdam by herself. Oh, that's bullshit. You know, and then she wouldn't let me go. What the hell, wife? So then, yeah. When my the, desk phone is ringing, but my computer is not ringing. That sucks. Because uh, I want to I take, like, more calls. Like, we, we just need to do rapid-fire one-minute calls. I, I know people are trying because I, I believe uh, Dwight just tried to call my cell phone and Dr. Lego just tried to call my cell phone. Oh, here we to, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're on the air. You have 15 seconds. Go. Hurry. Oh, oh okay. Come on. Don't fuck this up. Uh, don't fuck this up. Carlito. Go, 10 I, seconds. I, 10 I've seconds. Listened, I've listened. Okay. Um, Nine. Explain the break. Eight, uh, explain seven, the breakup six, of prank five, call nation. Explain four, it, like what happened. Three. Uh, the breakup of prank call nation. Well, uh, prank well, call nation. Well, you see. <laughs> 
There was so Jeez. much controversy, like just from the very beginning, like even before Prank Call Nation. Remember, like Death Fox just totally yeah. fucking over Madhouse. Yeah, like specifically, yeah. like the Macron. We're not situation. going into specifics, and we're not saying the M oh. word because that just causes oh. problems for everyone. Yeah. Okay. He's... Yeah, that, the right. M word I, gets I, real I, upset. I just, it's basically the curious. same story as PCU, right? Like a bunch of people just, just like, just everyone implodes and and Cacti Radio. Yeah. The same thing with Cacti Radio. Everyone just freaking out at each other, and yeah. every network just kills itself. Yeah, it's just, it's, That's why I'm just like so determined to stay off yeah. of networks at this point. Yeah. Look, all I know is I, I went I went to sleep one night. I woke up and Brad had done a show, and someone out there had a birthday and had done a show less than 24 hours before already and was upset that Brad had done a show. I totally did and, it on purpose. Yeah, totally. On, of course, Brad did it on purpose. Because that's the kind and of guy this, I am. Yeah. And so this person quit the network for the fourth time in, in, two, in two months. So I wow. said, "All right, you're quitting this time, and I'm not do I'm not going through the whole thing to bring all your episodes back again. I'm fucking done with it." That's I was kind of a pissed off gotcha. at that point. But is yeah. it really any one person specifically? So it was just all petty bullshit. Yeah, because it, before it, there that was a lot it, it was of shit going for a while. Remember yeah, before was, that it was Cracker. Before that it was well, I think it was Death Fox. Before that, yeah, then, like before that Cacti Radio. <laughs> it just yeah. goes on and on. It's just half the people Fuck didn't get along with creating networks and, and yeah. getting people together and making nice communities. Yeah. It always yeah. comes back to... Yeah, yeah. I think wow. we've got a good thing going now. Like, we all have our... You know, we all help each other out, you know, as far as we promote each other on a friendship basis, and we all hang out with each other and stuff, yeah. but... Yeah, it, awesome. the, the, it, it's, it, it's way too much for one person to manage doing a network, man. Yeah, it was, it was way too much for me. Woo! Yeah. Oh, love you, Hermano, and... Uh, Keep it up. Yeah. Oh. Hope it's, more it's shows. Best, yeah. We called you, Hermano. Oh, thanks, hey, what happened man. to 15 seconds? I'm hanging up on you. Yeah, Sorry. Man. Bye. Bye. Nice oh, who was that? Did we get his name? That was Macron. <laughs> okay. Thanks for calling in. Hey, you're on the air. You, you're uh, like fifth from the last caller. Ten. Hello. Nine. Eight. I'm calling hey. about the couch for sale. Ah, no. No, <laughs> not this couch shit again. Sick of you guys. Uh, my name's my name's Ernie. I'm calling from Guam. Hey, Ernie. <laughs> yeah, that's his name, Ernie, right? Yeah. I got a fucking horse for sale. Okay. It's Dwight, it's, we got Dwight McJanitor here. I don't know if you ever heard of him. He's a funny guy. Oh, funny he does prank, prank calls, right? Up and coming oh, prank caller. Fuck that, fuck that yeah. guy's show. He's gonna be on your new network that you're setting up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. I, I called Carlito to let him know that this show was canceled by Mark Zuckerberg himself. I don't know why you guys are still on the air. Ah, oh. Shit. That, that's that's why the chat room's all broken. That's why. That, this is, that's exactly it. Because we're really collecting slowly. all of our private data to sell to China. Fuck. Yeah. Fucking fuck. Don't fuck around over here, guys. So might as well just put your social security numbers in the goddamn chat right now. Right. I'm typing mine in as we speak. Did you have a question? Okay, Dwight, yeah, what's your question? Come on, you're holding so, up all the other calls. Yeah. How, uh, well, good. Fuck them. Like, I'm just going to sit here all night. And uh, so let, let me ask like Carlito... Uh, do you ever feel bad about fucking with Ernie? Like, you terrorized him on his holiday, you know, and yeah, he's working. Is that the Guam guy? And... Yeah. Uh, no, Ernie not him. He, he was, seemed stuck up and pretentious. I didn't really care for him much. I didn't have much. No, no. I've I've only felt bad for a few pranks I've done. Well, uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's like old people that I've messed with, and I've realized they're probably scared the shit out of them at 3 in the morning in the UK. I have all been there. <laughs> Um, the, the guy, the where you at guy that I sent to look for. Yeah, yeah, great, nice story. And the baloney audio doesn't exist. Goodbye. Yeah, right. Whatever. You baloney coupon motherfucker. <laughs> fucking you. Dwight. Fucking baloney. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't let him on your network. Yeah. Hey, you're on the air. Hey, what's up there, uh, Carlito? How are you? It's Prankmaster. Hey, okay. Prankmaster. Hey. What's up? Yeah. How you doing, How you doing? buddy? Okay, Prankmaster. Oh, okay. Ten, nine. <laughs> Hey, what do you want? Yeah, I, for, I figured I'd call him. Uh, I, I missed the chance to get to meet you, and uh, it didn't work out, unfortunately. I, I messaged you a couple of times, but you never responded back. Oh, in New York, where you, where you wanted to meet him in the at the meetup thing? He was good. Yeah, yeah. he couldn't make. 
yeah, he had something come up that night at the last minute with a charity thing, and then he couldn't make it, and then we were going to try the next day, but it was just way too crazy. You got to do that like every three months or something, Carlito. Just go to New, oh, York, New York and hang meetup. out. Yeah. Just go to New York. Local hey, meetup. everyone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, especially since Solar just got hit with a bike. So, or Holy hit shit. On his bike, anyways. You see that picture of his back, man? That's insane. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. He, he's a survivor. He's a survivor. I'll just say. like the song. Yeah. Uh, so, do you guys have any idea when the uh, the KDK show is gonna be tomorrow? Uh, th- that will be on me. I, I'm I'm hoping you know in the summer. I really it's it's really hard to get all these people together. I I keep talking to people. You know, uh, it, Ted Webb's the biggest one right now that I want to make sure that I get on. I really don't want to do it without him. Let's so. just call this the KDK show. We've talked about oh. it enough. Yeah, right. There you go. No, I think people really want a KDK show where yeah, we play no, clips and stuff. Yeah. yeah. You should just put yeah. together a podcast version of it and like call I up guess. people separately and like interview them or something. I don't know. Yeah. That's a dumb idea. I think that would be easier. Yeah. And then just play it live. Play it for the first time live, you know? Yeah. I think that might be the best. Yeah. Best that, idea that ever. Be quicker. I'm a genius. That's a good, good idea. Yeah. It's a good idea. Yeah. You can All right, well, I'll let you work. guys get back to what you were doing, but I just wanted to call and thanks for All right, Adam, when, when's your hey, where's when's your surgery, man? When are you getting the lap band soon? You got to get, uh, well, it's not the lap band; it's the uh, gastric sleeve that'll be oh, June 11th. Okay. I'll, be, I'll be in the hospital, so right now I'm on day number one completed of a liquid diet, so it's not really that much fun. So uh, gross. All right, well, good can, luck with that, man. Can it be for loco? All uh, right. Thanks. Right. I'll See talk you. to you soon. Bye. Bye. That lap band, man. I tell you. Yeah. Good times. Or sleeve. Yeah. They're like, like during his entire call, like just calls coming in nonstop. Now he's Dude, saying, okay, about... here we go. Here's one. What? Yeah. No, 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 no. Later, later. Okay. Okay. Hey. Hey. Really? Hey. So I got talk this to website. Logo. It's called, it's called, uh, you're a dildo.com. What? And, <gasps> And the concept of the website is that if you're pissed off at somebody, you send your picture in, and we 3D dimensional put that person's face on a dildo, and then you you could send it to them as a present. Nice, nice. It doesn't exist yet. Nobody steal your dildo dot com. Well, no, no. I I, I registered it. I let it go because ah. it, I couldn't get the oh. financing. But I did make a dildo of Carlito. Oh, oh really? That's sweet. How big was the dildo? Uh, you know, I, I, probably around the same as you, two and a half. Okay. Did it have like silicone-y kind of texture, fleshy? Was oh, it big? Good was, it big? was it sexy at least? Yeah. So, so you know, Zolar, Zolar almost died, and um, they they had to resuscitate him and bring him back, you know, because when, really? he, when he broke his yeah he broke his back, man. Oh, you know, I didn't even know it was oh, that. I didn't know he broke his back. I, I didn't know it was that serious. I thought he just kind of like yeah, fell. he got to get like seventy eight stitches in his ankle. Holy shit! I yeah. need to right. check out his, yeah, his Instagram or protruding whatever. out. Holy crap! Wow. Yeah. So, but uh, you know, he's probably still you know living with his sugar mama, so it don't matter. Yeah. I hope so. I hope she doesn't leave him already. Right, so I, I, I've you know. got a question. Um, what what happened that time that you freaked out at Doctor Lego when he, you you were like screaming at him? This is like ten years ago. You and then they made a song about it. I thought this was Doctor Lego. Who's this? My name is Abe Froman. Oh, hey, Abe, Abe Froman, Sausage King of Chicago, uh, Philadelphia, Chicago. Chicago. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah, know. He, who, he can't even about? get it right, man. He can't even get it right. God damn it, Tony. I, Were I you really was... mad, Carlito, that time? Because you sounded uh, mad. Yeah, I was really mad. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> I had an emotional <laughs> moment. Dude, I, I you told you, get a guy fu- who what did I say? Get a fucking state. life. Get a fucking job. Get a fucking... What? <laughs> I said a bunch of shit. Dude, yeah, it's so I... funny. I got to find that. I have it somewhere. And then we made that funny song with you screaming in it. But, but, dude, how do you get mad at the guy who invented the gross tape that, like, you loved so much? I don't know. I don't know. It was a really bad moment. I was going through – I remember I was trying to quit weed, uh, and uh, I was in the – Oh, that's what yeah. it was. You were, withdraw- yeah. you were withdrawing. Yeah, sure. That's what it was. Yeah, I, it was a really low just, moment for, for me. You know, I, I just want to say it. something. To, a, couple, a couple of quick things. You know, Brad, you know, like, I, I don't think we ever really spoke, but I've been listening to you and, and supporting you for – 
a long time. Oh, and I love what you do. Thanks, and, Abe. Um, Carlito, the same. You know how I feel about you. I thanks, love you, Mr. bro. Mr. Froman. But uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you that that I really, you know, when when I heard about KDK, um, it really affected me. I, I feel not that you know. Listen, there was times that I, I really wanted to put that guy in a headlock and beat him. Yeah. But, I've you know, there. It, there's, a, there's a certain side of me that, that really liked him a lot, and he was a good dude, and uh, I don't know. I just feel pretty shitty about it. Yeah. I like him a lot more now. Yeah, I miss the guy. I was I was real bummed out for like a week, man, when yep. I found out what happened. Yeah, it sucked. But, yeah, I mean, I you talked no to did, 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 did he, did he like reach that, out man. to you at one point telling you that he had bought the rights to a whole bunch of movies or something? Was that no? I, you know, I haven't spoken to him in like four or five years, and I, I really thought, you know, I mean, I just figured, you know, I once in a while I'd go to his website, you know, and just see, oh yeah, he's gonna do a show or this or that, but, uh, you know, whatever. Just relive the nineties. Look at his website. Nineties. <laughs> well, his, his website was a little out of date. Yeah, I can't so, really talk. I, I, I mean, look at mine. He used to talk shit about Doctor Lego's website. He used to say that it looked like a GeoCities website. <laughs> and then, <laughs> then and, and, and then, I'm in the business. That's that's fuck. That's an insult. Yeah, man. yeah. That's just that's KDK, man. <clears throat> yeah, I don't even have a website, dude. I let go of a prank call. Radio is gone. Prank the world is gone. I do own PhoneCreeps.com, but I haven't done anything with it. There you go. That but should be your new show. Maybe. Phone hey, hey uh, you're gonna have to battle Abe Froman, and we're gonna decide which of you stay on the line. Oh no! What is it like a rap battle or what? Yeah, here we go. Uh, ready, set, go. You and Abe. All right. Hey Abe. Uh, yeah. We're gonna rap because I, I got a yeah, couple you... of raps that I've written that are pretty pretty good. I, although you, I don't you know if I'm allowed to say you don't want to say any bad right words. Now. This is a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> am I allowed to say anything? Like, am I allowed to say anything really vulgar? Oh uh, no, not on this show. This is a Christian show. Christian mm. family listeners. Can't say shit like that. Sorry. Do you, do you know it's black and white and red and rolls down the beach? What? No. I don't. Uh, am I allowed to say the N word? <laughs> what what word is that? Oh, we lost him. <laughs> shit. Fuck. Whoa, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Hey, who's this calling well, in? Hey, 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 this is uh this is Sporty Board from California. How's it going? Hey, Sporty Board. Sporty. Hey, uh, how's it going, Carlito? I, I got a, I think it's a deep cut Madhouse question for you. So, um, I, I was listening back to like the 10 year anniversary show. You had Andy on, and um, right. Andy uh, brought up that there was this show from the early days of Madhouse featuring the white boy rappers, and it was so terrible that you never posted the episode. Um, what's? Do you remember that? And what was that about? Um, it was these uh, white boy rappers that I used to hang out with before I did shows, and I don't know why I just decided to throw them on as a gag, because they really were bad rappers. Um, but it, it was really awkward, because it was KDK and other people in the IRC chat room talking shit about them while they were reading it <laughs> uh, yeah. the whole time. So it got real awkward, and then a bunch of DVDs got stolen from my apartment that day also. And then Milkman got real mad uh, about the whole situation because he felt that he wasn't being allowed to talk because there was, a, there was other people on the microphone. I missed so out on did, so much. It, yeah, it, it, was, it was a train wreck of a show. It was only like the third show, I think, ever, but it was a real train wrecky show. Um, I've I'm done that a sure. lot. I, I've not posted shows because they were so bad back in the day. Yeah, I should look for it. I probably have a copy of that. I should put that on Patreon. That's, yeah, that I'd be curious to, to hear that. It sounds like just such a train wreck. But it All might right. be interesting to hear. I'll write it down on my big board. I, I think it's kind of funny, too, because like Milkman getting upset about people talking over him, despite the fact that like he talks over you constantly like every time yeah. he's on the phone. But I love yeah. Milkman. He's great. <laughs> I'll ask him a question. He just goes, keeps going right over it. The you whole gotta time. love Milkman. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's awesome. Yeah. All right, man. cool. Well, yeah, that, that, that's all I got. Thanks so much for uh, having me on. Hey, thanks for calling. Bye, See sporty board. Thanks for listening. Bye. I like when he's doing his outros and and he's all cutting out, and you're like, Milkman, you're cutting out, and he just keeps going and going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking uh, uh, hey, you're on the air. You're the last caller hey. today. 
Well, maybe not. Uh, I don't know. Just, uh, just wanted to call and say, I called earlier, but I didn't get a clear answer out. The phone may have broken up a little bit. So I just want to get some clarification here. So you uh, you called into uh, the MJ and BJ Morning Show for the Tampa Bay area like a while back, right? Yeah. Well, um, did I call in? I, yeah. I, I don't know if I called in. I, it's more like I just interfered with everything that happened. Yeah, yeah. I, I heard that a while back, like many years back you did that, but... I just want to like clear for a case like did, did you hate those guys were you like no i, I like this show it's just he prank called people like he would just fuck with old people call them over and over six in the morning or no earlier than like <laughs> middle of the night because he was a six in the morning yeah, show yeah. so I, I just felt that was like free reign to for me to fuck with him <laughs> and see how he liked it and he didn't yeah, like and, it and and, and and the final yeah. for the final like addendum this like do you have any like uh, record calls of those. Like I'd like to hear those. Like I couldn't find them anywhere. Like anywhere. Uh, there's a PLA radio episode of. It's probably called Wacky Morning DJ or something. Because uh, I remember when I was a kid, I used to love those shows. But yeah, but no. anyways, that's all. Yeah, I, I, we, there's see? some stuff that happened that was really amazing, and I lost it in a hard drive crash or a hard drive replacement or something. But, all right, good talking to you, and uh, yeah. stay out of the FBI hygiene. Have a good one. Peace. Yeah, yeah. He said something about the FBI. I didn't hear what it was. Something nasty about the FBI. Yeah. All trying, right. trying to get me in trouble with the FBI. Thanks a lot. Motherfucker. Was well, that it? Are we do we do we end it? No, no, we're still here. Okay. I like Good. your Skype orange thing. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't quite fit the window, but I still like it. Yeah, you get the letters there. You see what's going on. Yeah. That's all that matters. Yeah. Yeah, we should take a couple more calls and then end. end okay, like, sure. What are we doing? Sure. Let's, let's just let's just pretend we're not in the air and just talk for a minute. All right. Let's just talk about our feelings. Let's talk about what we're doing. Yeah. How we're feeling. Yeah. What are you doing that you can't show video? Oh, nothing. Just uh, I'm gonna getting go undressed. Off. I'm gonna go off video. Getting undressed here, you know. There. I'm not on video now. I don't want to be on video by myself. Yeah, it's no weird. video. It's like being in Tiny Chat by yourself. Just feels there, I'm back. Oh, okay. Right. Your eyes are all red now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. All so, right. Three more calls and then we're out of here, right? All right, all right. Have you enjoyed yourself? Yes, I have. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, thanks for putting us together. Where can people find Madhouse? Uh, MadhouseLive.com. Mm hmm. Yes. Would you say your website is more modern looking than KDK's or less modern looking? More modern, more and more. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. Not by much, but more. Yeah. <laughs> His site was just like it looks so terrible. Like it really did. Like, oh god, <laughs> it was just yeah. It, like everything on. Like he didn't even update like the text. It, it just it referenced things from the past. I, like, I think nothing. he had like a web counter on there. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the prank call web ring. Yeah. No, he didn't have that, but he may as well no. have. Right. <laughs> the prank call web ring. <laughs> I God. think I belong to a few prank call web rings. I think I ran one for a while. Oh, wow. Back in the GeoCities days. Yeah. For Tumblr. Hello, you're on the air. All right, Brad. Hey. Carlito, what's going on, guys? Oh, I you know. Hey. For both of you. Okay. okay. We know, uh, we pretty much know the history of both you guys, and, uh, well, some of us do of uh, what gave you, you know, the, the ideas and, and uh, motivation to do what you do. But can you remember your first prank call ever? Carlito first. Man, I, I don't remember my first prank call ever. I remembered like the earliest I can remember doing them were in Puerto Rico with my cousin, like probably was, in 1987. Was it a rotary phone? Mm, I couldn't tell you. It probably was, to be honest, where, the, where, where we were doing it. It was in my uncle's dentist office. He was a dentist, and it mm. was, it was, yeah, we, we did him from there, prank calling, doing stupid shit. Um, that, those are the earliest I can remember, yeah. Um, after that, I mean, after the Jerky Boys came out is when I got really into wanting to, you know, really do more serious prank calls. So, 93, yeah. 94, yeah. Yeah. Right on, yeah. Brad. And then, yeah, I guess for me, like, I, I'm sure I prank called in the 70s on a rotary phone uh, up in the attic. My brother and mine, uh, my brother and me lived up in the uh, attic, you know, attic room 
That was our bedroom. And there was a phone hi- hardwired into the wall. And we kept a list oh. of phone numbers hidden in the toy box on a piece of paper, nice. folded up, like hidden inside a toy so our parents wouldn't find it. We'd call the same people nice. over and over. But yeah, I don't yeah, know. That's, I don't that's know. super cool. I don't know what we did. Like, I remember my brother got fooled by a lady who said she had a tracer on the phone, and he started, like, just, he, he turned over. He started apologizing and, and just asking her to please not do that. He'd get in trouble. And I'm, like, two years younger than him. I'm like, no, come on. She's she's lying. She, there's no tracer. How would she have a tracer? Here's another question, quick. Yeah. Um, when, you, when you guys were young, did you ever try to... And it wouldn't matter now, but do you ever try to, like, prank the White House or, you know, how about a U.S. embassy, Carlito? <laughs> no. No, I never tried any. I didn't try the White House. No, I didn't. I mean, when I was a kid, I didn't even. I remember reading in a book about, about the, the White Nor- House. How about the NORAD line? No, never. I didn't know about that. To, uh, yeah, no. I nope. didn't know about that until a long nope, time. Nope, never. I, I remember reading in a book about the White House in the fourth grade that said it was like a question answer book about the White House and it said, Does the White House have a phone number? And it yes it does and it said, Yes it does. Here it is, two one two, blah, 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 whatever. Um and I was like, I didn't even know they had a phone number, you know, that you could call. You're allowed to call it. But no, I was always afraid to call nine one one or governments and stuff like that. I mean the most I did what we did back then I remember was we just dialed random numbers. It was just random 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 numbers. You didn't have to worry about caller id and stuff when i was a kid yeah i called the white house all the time in the 90s from pay phones and stuff using the red box did you yeah yeah i didn't do anything crazy to him i just i would ask for bill you know bill clinton like hey is bill there and like it wasn't even funny i just thought it was cool that we could call the white house right right yeah that's awesome guys i know my first prank call ever was to piggly wiggly and i called and asked for the pig (laughs) <laughs> and that's like the stupidest thing you could ever do. But then later yeah. on, getting older, you know, if a woman answers, you'd say, "Well, you are the pig," oh, and then they'd get pretty upset. That's not wow. nice. I know. That's, that's it's not very cool. mean. I know. Like you crossed the line. Know. You crossed the line. I, I, yeah, obviously. Give him the clang. Uh, Carlito especially <laughs> thinks that's that's horrible. Like, I should have just said, "Hey, honey, baby." You know there how you much go. meat you, you got back in that meat section. You need to respect labia, women. But, you know, I'll... ask about her labia. So that's what girls like. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, you guys have any labia on sale? Yeah. Yeah. That, oh, that's what on. I should have like, done. This is no. not that kind of Call show. I'm sorry, Carlito. I'm sorry you had to hear that. It's all right. It's not nice. Um, hey, you're on the air. You're probably the last caller tonight, so this better be yeah. good. I'm out of time. Oh, um, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm Romney. Yeah. Who, who you uh, vote I for? I vote for Romney. You vote for Romney? Romney? Romney. Romney. Yeah, yeah, I bet you voted for Romney, didn't a, you, Carlito? Who do you think I'm are? <laughs> who do you think I'm is? Uh, yeah. Ro- Romney, Don't Carlito? Don't come back to Texas. That's his question. Romney? Did, no, no Romney, no. Oh, no, Obama. Okay. Obama. Yeah, I didn't vote that year. Yeah. Fuck voting. All right. Thanks for the call. Okay. <laughs> that was a great last call. I enjoyed that one. All right. Yeah. Well, thanks for having me on. It was great. Yeah. I, I had, had a good fun. Time. Was it everything yeah. you hoped for? Like, was it better or worse than you hoped for? It was better than I thought. Uh, we didn't hear phone winners. I'm surprised. I think that's the first of these that no phone winners happened. Oh, yeah. Um, that's right. Definitely. We got the question about the background. I thought it would be more people asking about stuff. But I hope to yeah. do one of these one day with you another time and answer more questions. Yeah, we should. Yeah, ten, yeah. 10 episodes in between before repeat visits. That's the rule. Yeah. I just, made, right. I just made that up. There we go. I think that's a good number. All right. Bye, Carlito. I love you. All right. God damn you, motherfucker. Bye. Uh, There's a YouTube channel that I watch religiously For losers of America, they post prodigiously No kidding, hacking, hidden cameras, making hella calls Social engineering, Brad is catching pokeballs In the backseat of your car, and he's so very sorry He was searching for the store like so, so we scratch up your Ferrari. Ferrari Left a number on the dash, so you called him up so fast Just to have a little chat, but he's sorry, don't get mad Cat 
cactus cactus the house is not a pool and if you buy an ipad on the street that's, that's not, not too cool. cool and if you work at pizza hut he's got you on the camera tell them you're from corporate and you're in there just like santa a shopping spree people get deceived dude switching off the power people will believe you a blockbuster red box we just put it in our bcp for the win once again pla pla all day 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 They'll call you up at 1 a.m. It's on like, sorry, guys, we just destroyed your lawn. And can you trim your trees? And yes, I have your mail. Undercutting neighbors trying to have a yard sale. Plus, Mildred Monday, rest in peace. Calling up her next akin with jokes on Christmas Eve. And if you're acting racist on the phone, you'll be busted. Checking into Foursquare, Twitter can't be trusted. Rolling up to Walmart, picking up the phone. Pound 9801, you might get a dial tone. Pound 9802, line two, you're connected. You want house on DVD? His response is unexpected. Hey. I just want to say thanks for YouTube's best, most creative phone pranks. In a scary time when the world is stressed and sad, thank God we got phone losers and thank God we still got Brad. Hey, PLA, PLA all day. Phone PLA, PLA, PLA all day. Phone PLA, PLA all day. Phone PLA, PLA, PLA all day. Phone PLA, PLA, PLA all day. Phone PLA, PLA, PLA all day. PLA, PLA all day. Phone PLA, PLA, PLA all day. Hello, who are you holding for? Uh, electronic. Oh, that, that would be me. Uh, I wanted to see if you guys had, uh, Mark and Mindy, uh, that's on a DVD. Mark and Mindy? Yeah, Mark and Mindy. Well, what, like, what do you do? What are you, are you, like, stuck in the past? Come on, watch something new. Watch Scrubs. Mm-hmm.